morning to you. You are watching the Daily Buzz Friday the 13th today. Don't be scared, Ellen. I'm not, but this day is very ominous for many people. <laughs> Gotta be careful. No Some part. superstitious people out there. No I'm Holly Hanula here with Andy Campbell, Kia Malone, and Mitch English. All right, a lot going on today. We gotta get going here. Thank you, Kia. Well, November is Diabetes Awareness Month, and while it's always great to eat smart, it's now more important than ever to keep a heart-healthy diet as the threat of diabetes continues to grow. Joining us now are two ladies who are cooking up some tasty ways to combat this disease. Author of the Heart Smart Cookbook, Nancy Hughes, and diabetes educator, Esther Garcia-Schuster. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. Okay, so this is a growing epidemic. Can you break it down for us? How bad is it right now? You know, I wish I had better news. Uh, we're losing ground here. Since 1990, we've had a 60% increase in the rate of diabetes in the United States. It's absolutely paralleling the obesity problem due to less calorie, excuse me, excessive calories and um, sedentary lifestyle. But we, we don't know how to really cure this disease, but we certainly know how to delay or prevent it. And Two that key is things news. here. Yes, absolutely. Diet and exercise. With diet, we need to start eating less. You know, simply sharing an entree when you go out or using a smaller plate at home to reduce your portion. And also, just, um, <coughs> excuse me for a minute. <coughs> and, and also, the activity, critical importance. Uh, it's 150 minutes a week, 20 minutes per day, really can delay this condition. And let's not forget how to eat. We need to, to select less saturated fat. Canola oil is a great cooking oil because it has the least amount of saturated fat of all cooking oils and it really helps prevent both heart disease and diabetes. Can you give us a little example of the kind of things we should be eating? I know there's a lot of good recipes in this new cookbook, Nancy, and how can we all get healthy? The, there's 151 recipes to help you get healthy, but it's, it's the kind of thing, everything I put in this book, every ingredient I had in this book is something you can get in the local grocery store. If, it, if you couldn't get it there, I didn't put it in the book. I wanted to make sure that people could go to their store, one-stop shopping, buy everything, bring it home, stock it up, and that's a ticket, is to keep things stocked so that you don't have to call for pizza or you don't have to call for fast foods of any kind because this is actually faster than fast foods. Um, if you, and if you keep them stocked, there's no excuse to say, oh, I'm so tired. Absolutely. So there's a lot of good stuff. Because yeah. I think a lot of times for people, it's so convenient to just eat junk food because it's so accessible there. But if you already have the stuff stocked in your kitchen, you're good to go. And in regards to the recipes, are these recipes pretty easy to make? We could all do this in our kitchen. We're almost out of time. Yes, yes, yes. One is you just pop, you take chicken, pop it in the skillet, cook a little bit of canola oil, throw a little artichoke in there, throw a little garlic in there, pull it off the heat, add fresh spinach, fresh basil, that's it. You throw it over pasta, a little Parmesan cheese. I mean, that's faster than fast. It is 15 minutes flat. You know, we should tell them where they can get the book, oh. don't you think? Go to HeartSmart, oh, HeartSmartDiabetes.org. And we'll have this information on our website, dailybuzznow.com. Thank you, ladies.